Hey everybody, this is Jack and Dan, and today we're going to our favorite local fish store. Hey everybody, I'm driving, and uh, we're taking a uh, an early ride up to our local fish store. Um, this is our favorite local fish store. It's called Best in Pets. Uh, we moved out this way about eight, nine years ago, and... Um, we didn't really know, you know, where to go, and we kind of heard from some fellow fish nerds that are like, hey, go to Best in Pets. So we did, and it's unbelievable. When I first came up to this place, we'll show you as we're pulling in. It's a tiny little place. I'm like, this is nothing to what I'm used to. Come to find out, there's a ton of stuff crammed in this little place, and it's awesome. So we're going to take you there and uh, take you on a little tour, and I think you'll really like it. Places like this are really good to go to to support um, you know, we do go to chain places once in a while, like Petco and PetSmart, but not very often. We're lucky enough to only live about 10, 15 minutes away from this place, and they know their stuff. Their staff is amazing. The owner is awesome. We've gotten a lot of great stuff from them, and we're going to take you on a little tour in a few minutes. As you can see, got a big tall sign. It's kind of out here in the middle of nowhere, um, kind of suburbs over here, and then businesses up there on the main road, but not a huge place. And again, when we first time we pulled in, we were like, what? This is like used to be an old convenient or something? Yeah, the gas and, station. And uh, they've actually been here a very long time. And, uh, you know, basically uh, we pulled in and we were kind of like, uh, we didn't know what to expect because we were used to, you know, some of the stores we used to go to, big, huge stores. And as you can see, this is pretty small. So we thought, eh, it'll probably be a pretty cute little shop. But we were shocked to see how much stuff is crammed into this little awesome local fish store. All right, so here we are inside. This is Mike. He's one of the oh, yeah. most knowledgeable fish gentlemen you'll ever meet so. in your life. <laughs> and uh, we're just gonna kind of show you guys some of the awesome supply. Again, it looks pretty small from the outside. Just piles of awesome stuff that they keep in stock here. Got the awesome little carts. Jack loves these carts. And we've got all these awesome structures. We actually came today to find some air bubblers for Jack's tank, so we might be looking at some of these kind of things. It's just really cool, all the stuff they have in stock. The Ad At Walkers, they always have like the Ninja Turtles, the Star Wars, the Marvel yeah, stuff. They have a Star Trek. They have a Star Trek one too. Yeah. They got a Millennium Falcon. I mean, it's kind of neat when you go to some of the big chain stores, you just don't see some of the uniqueness that you see here. And then you come down here, you got all these structures, all these tanks, of course, tons of frozen food. Lots of tanks in stock piled up all the way to the ceiling. Tons of huge plants. Huge plants like this are hard to find. Yeah. How big are those? Like 36 inches or something? I mean, that's crazy. Those are awesome. Tons of driftwood, tons of rocks. Look at all this driftwood. Lots of different colored gravel and sand. Yeah, show them some of the rocks. Right yeah, which ones? Well, all of them. Oh, yeah, look at these quartz. Tons of quartz. Look at, Look at stuff, that, man. Yeah. You can't even find these at like garden places. Oh, I know. Landscaping places. So, what do you sell your rock for? By pound? Yeah, buck sixty nine a pound. For buck sixty nine a pound for quartz. That's amazing. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and a lot of color. I mean, you dust these off too. You'll see a lot more richness coming out of that. They'll look awesome in the clear. Oh yeah. All kind of different awesome. rocks. These are awesome. It's like the canyon rocks. Yeah, those, those are sweet. Looks yeah. like your. Um, looks like your fish are. Uh, Hiking through Red Rock Canyons. Oh yeah, and some more rose quartz. Look at that rose quartz. All this stuff. Look at I don't all know, of these. that lapis lazuli? I don't know what that is. That stuff. You polish that off though. It's really blue. That's awesome. It's just kind of dusty right now. Lots of bulbs. Got the old bulbs. Got the new bulbs. Lots of backgrounds. Lots of cool tanks. Yeah, we get some funky sizes of tanks every now and then. Yeah. We got the 33 long right there. Yeah, that's we awesome. We had a 40 one we just sold yesterday, and we, we were getting in 50 frags, where they're, they're only like this tall. It's a 50 really long tank, though? like that tall. Those yeah. are cool for shells and for breeding and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's good for getting light right on top of corals. I mean, that's we got awesome. some, some wow, cool like that. clay rocks right now. Unbelievable. First one that's just the first off. aisle, guys. It's unbelievable. Yeah, and then we got this ocean rock. I mean, saltwater people fight over this stuff. We, wow, we have no, we'll probably sell all this and buy it in two weeks, I'd say. Wow, and how much do you charge for that? $2.99 a pound for this stuff. Wow. Typically, people are going to pay like around $10 a pound for like live rock that had, that's been in an aquarium. Right. The cultured. This would only take, you know, 
maybe a few months to culture it all the way and get everything growing in it like yeah. properly. Start it from scratch yourself, right? Yeah, I mean, as long like, as you got circulation and some some good rock to seed it. I mean, well, when they it come somewhere like much. here, and you could you could help them how to do it. Whereas if normally you go to a yeah. pet store, I'm not gonna be able to tell you. Yeah, I, I fix a lot of people's problems. It's it's mostly the basics. Like a lot of places don't explain things. In uh, yeah, you just gotta explain it to people so they're empowered. You know, right, right. That way you're not just like, oh, buy a bottle of this, it'll fix it. You know, <laughs> you got, it's not that hard to learn. It really. That's is. That's the fun part. Of it. It is we fun got part tons of more lights over here. Oh, yeah, we got the lights. Sky. These are cool. You can actually put these up to an app. So like a hundred times. Yeah, it's a forty-eight incher. Wow, that's awesome. And these ones you could change every, you can go through every color. And you can have preset settings, those are real cool. That's fantastic. Yeah, we got we got all kinds of odd lids and stuff. Like wow. people are looking for something weird. 54 corner lid. That's so cool. That's a turtle tank. Yeah, Look at all the these turtles. awesome foam filters. Yeah, we got some funky stuff right now. This is a, These are mud turtles. Hey, buddy. Or actually, I don't even know if that's the mud. I don't even know what that one is. <laughs> Lots of awesome, big, huge buckets of yeah, plastics. Got all kind of chemicals, all kind of treatments. Yeah, we, we try to at least have a representation of each bit of equipment you can get for salt water in here. So awesome. we got a Coral Life skimmer up there. We got a wet dry. You can usually just make one, but you know we should have one. So we have you guys one. definitely utilize all the space you have in here. There's no way yeah. about it. No <laughs> space me. wasted. Yeah, RO filters. That filters your tap water, so it's safe put uh, saltwater fish in it. I've well, not necessarily safe, but it keeps your algae down. I've been to humongous aquarium stores and not seen this many filters, honestly. Really? You guys even have the uh, seawater, too. Yeah, we got straight from tank, same stuff they use. That's awesome. Got all the trace elements in it. Pretty much for dummies. If you're ever concerned about how difficult it is, you could just, just use throw that. Throw that in. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> to do it. Really I need a new one of these. I might be getting one of these today. Jack's been using mine to pick up sticks that fall from the trees and it broke, so. Yeah. <laughs> we had like a hardcore one for saltwater people. What's that? Oh, there it is. This one here, this big, big grabber. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. We got, the, we got the cut to fit filter pads. You don't know what size filter you need. You could just grab one of these. Awesome. Chop them up, whatever size you need it. Awesome. Very cool. Lots of goodies. Here's all your recommended Omega. There's all your own foods. And we got more sand and gravel over here. Air stones. Wow. Tons oh, yeah. If anyone wants a pump, you should push them to one of these because you can actually, these actually come with two impellers. You, could, you can end up having that one. It's got the little ball joint. This is more just for pointing and uh -huh. having circulation wherever you need it. This one's more of a utility one. But these are like the same price as the other ones, if not cheaper, and you get two impellers. <laughs> so I, What'd you find? Shredder? Sure. Yeah, that's the one I have. That's awesome. Yeah, those look fantastic, man. Oh, yeah, we got the glow-in-the-dark stuff. Got a uh, dude here. <laughs> Lots of glow-in-the-dark stuff oh, for the neon yeah. tanks. This is a blue tongue scape. These guys are awesome. Wow, he's a little upset. Well, yeah, he's being, he'll chill out here in a little bit. Oh, like he's huffing and puffing. <laughs> They're actually really nice, though. Yeah, skinks, skinks are sweet, right? So, like, predators are nice. Hey, buddy. <laughs> He's like, he's like, up, dude. Wow, that's Got cool. Stubby feet. Yeah, he's being good though. Usually he's freaking out if his feet aren't on something, so I usually just let him grab onto me and hold him tight. Yeah. yeah he's being good cool. though. He's pretty tame. You got a chameleon in here. Look at this guy. A veiled chameleon. Look at that. Awesome, dude. Yeah, wow. Oh, these are the, the horn horn toads. These ones, if you watch like Animal Planet or something, these you shoot blood out of their mouth. <laughs> As a deterrent. That's awesome. Yeah, those Smart guys are cool. Water. These are kind of rare. You don't see them. Look at all this more driftwood yeah, over here. Yeah, they look here. like an old. So many. Oh, I like those. Gilders. So much supplies. It's almost unbelievable. Again, we're stacked to the ceiling using all the space they can. Unbelievable how much stuff is in here, really. Unbelievable. All the stuff they have for reptiles. Just a small little store, just packed to the rafters. And of course they got uh, well, guinea, guinea pigs, pigs and parakeets, bunnies. That's a scruffy bunnies, bunny. All kind of stuff like that too. These guys are really cool, these blue a car. Oh yeah. 
Got a red devil there, kind of trying to talk to his friend here, TD Glass. Lots of cichlids. So coming down here, we kind of start off with the tropical fish. We got barbs, we got neons, we got some sharks, loaches. Anything in particular you guys got that stands out a lot? Uh, well, right we now? got the Matoro rays on the other end right now. What about on this side? This side, well, you know, you've seen them, the big guys. We got the elephant nose. Oh, that's nose. the big cat. Yeah. We got, like, hopefully we get some baby whales on there. Yeah. Uh, baby whales are similar to these, except they don't have the big elephant nose. These guys are interesting. They use electricity to sense everything. Yeah. Um, their their eyes are actually really adept at like getting a very minute amount of light and getting a lot out of it. And their military is actually studying their eyes. For wow, for real huh. It's and amazing what we find in our oceans, man. As they say, we mean, we know more about space than we do our oceans. Oh yeah. And, and then we guys. got a black ghost in here with some elephant nose as well. Black ghost, very similar. They use electricity to sense. Virtually blind. Super cool. Look at that guy. And they'll start eating out of your hand after a while. They, they get used to it. And they're not really aggressive toward other fish? Uh, I mean, they'll eat really small fish and they'll get about 20 inches, so... Yeah. I've I mean, thought about getting one. I might think about it. Yeah, they're, on it. they're pretty cool. Got a bunch of little baby albinos. Little baby albino... Uh, that goes in here. Those tiny little guys. We're gonna label those. We're gonna label those. Put the glass cats. Cool, cool, cool. Some neon salt water. Got a big old. So the back wall here all is pretty much salt water. Yeah. Yeah. This aisle we're in right now. Uh, to when you're walking in, this to your right. This is all community for the most part. Community fish. There's a pretty huge Oscar right here. Look at this. Look at this boy. Oh yeah, he's in solitary. <laughs> but we, we we get a lot of training. Yeah. So we end up having to mix match fish all the time, see who's fighting, see who's getting along. I mean, even those guys in with the big catfish, they spar a little bit, but they don't really get too well. So along this whole back wall, you got look at this guy. The little lionfish boy, he's awesome. And we got a uh, he, he's like cleaner rats to clean him up. Yeah, I love these little bigger rats. Yeah, they they are so cool. Right Look at those little blue guys just flying around. There's, yeah, they're so quick it's hard to get them, there. Yeah. So they just kind of come around, clean yeah, all these yeah. other guys off. Yep. Those are neat. How much are those cleaner rats? Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Yeah. Pretty cool. If I had a saltwater tank, I'd definitely have a bunch of those. These guys little monsters. Look at humongous fish. Little baby panther groupers. Wow, those are so cool. Look at that guy. He's like the size of my, smaller than my thumbnail. And they get they get a couple feet long, don't they? Oh yeah. Gorgeous little guys, man. Gorgeous little guys. And we got some uh, glory, <laughs> glory fish in here. It's so cool. Yeah, we got queen 90 boats. Yeah, wow. That'll be another big one. Yeah, that's a gorgeous one. Yeah. All these blue morphs, so people love them. Yeah, because of Nemo. Oh yeah. Dory. Ellen DeGeneres, right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those guys are tiny, man. They're really nice. How much are those? 45. 45. Yeah, we had them at 40 bucks, and they all sold in like three days. So we rose, rose them up five rose bucks, them. and it's kind of you know, supply and demand. Yeah. They guys have a lot of really nice saltwater. Chupalis. These guys are just absolutely crazy. No, not many people are ever going to be able to keep these. Yeah. They're, um, look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Bit my finger. Yeah, when we went They're just so hyper-aggressive. <laughs> We saw these guys. They were huge. Are they they following you around? Uh, they didn't really mess with us. We also saw. We went snorkeling in the uh, in the shark tank and the ray tank in um, San Antonio Aquarium. Some big ones. Right. And they were huge in there. Big as my hand. But they, again, when they keep very well fed because they're sharks and they don't want the sharks eating other fish, so they keep everything really well fed. Yeah. We actually fed them. We yeah, threw in huge like stingrays too. Yeah, it was it was really neat. It was really neat. Look at all these guys down yeah, we here. We got our coral section. We got some cabbage, mushrooms. It's a lobophilia, hammers. Uh, this frog spawn. It looks like a bunch of frog eggs. That's why they call That's it frog awesome. spawn. And then we got. I love like this the, one. All the different types. What's this right one now. called? That's a candy cane. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a Blastomusa meletti. I usually don't know the names like that. 
I mean, we got all the different types. There's the LPS. Bunch of live rock down here too. Yeah, LPSs have a, a big. It's called. It just means large stony pollock. Huh. And then you have L or SPSs, which means small stony pollocks, which are like these these two up here. Wow. They're real small polyps. Um, and then you got soft corals. Soft corals don't really have a bone base to them at all, but they still require calcium. I love these guys too. These guys are awesome. Oh, yeah. Cardinals. Good for schooling. What's Jack see over here? Yeah, I mean, this is crazy. Oh, yeah, like, starfish. Like some of these logophilias we got. Oh, yeah, here's the conch, too. He cleans the sand. He's like a little bulldozer. He's constantly moving stuff around. It's awesome. You got the urchins in here. Oh. So the urchins eat everything off the walls and the rocks. And then the, the conch stirs up the gravel. So the nutrients are always in circulation. Keep, they keep like refeeding each other. That's awesome. You guys have so much stuff. Man. Yeah, we got a lot of fungia right now. That's what those are called. All the little polyps. There's zoanthids. And this stuff still coming out this morning. Like that one's still not even open. More frog spawn back there. Awesome. What else are you showing me over here when I pan to the starfish? Oh, what was I looking at? Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, that lobophilia. That's huge. I think it's a rolling summer for 60 bucks. If you go online, it's probably 150 at least. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, go on for uh, See, you can see the bone base on that. Some of these, they don't come in, it's so healthy, so we gotta kind of perk them back up, and you can see where the bone base for that one died off. Right. But that's how much it extends out. It's awesome. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. You could tweak your lights. Some of these will show more under different lighting. Like that's that actually has a lot of red in it. You might not be able to tell at the moment though. Yeah, these are all clamps here at the bottom. We filter feed all those. No, not yet. I'm sure they've got a little bit. It's pearls just come from like leftover sand that just gets impacted over time. We oh yeah, we got little horseshoe crabs. Some people get a kick out of them. And I was little, I went to Maryland and we caught some of these, if I could find one. <laughs> First one. Oh, yeah, here's one. Yeah, I caught one of these bigger than your head when I was in Maryland. <laughs> little guy. I recommend Maryland. There's a lot of fun, fun stuff around there in the ocean. And these are another one. They just stir up the sand, keep it from growing algae. It's awesome. Little guys in there. Yeah. That's an important thing with salt water is having, uh, like, you don't want the nutrients to get stuck in, you know, if you don't have snails, all your algae is going to grow on your glass. If, if you don't have uh, crabs and urchins and snails, like, it'll all get stuck on your rocks. Right. If you don't have a sand sifter, it'll all settle in your sand. So if you have bottom feeders for each area, it'll constantly be in circulation and it'll just sustain the whole system. They have diversity. Yeah. And we'll, you got a great guy like this working here. He'll take, he teach you all this. Look at these little Nemos here. Whole family of Nemo guys. That's yeah. awesome. Look at yeah, these I gobies. Nemo, Look at these gobies, man. These Those are, are the, uh, super. Oh, they call them green spot. They're actually mangroves, what they're called. Yeah. Technical. Super awesome. I love gobies. They're the coolest thing. Seahorses over here. More gobies in here. Look at these little guys flying around. <laughs> So cool. You guys, These guys actually popped babies out last week, but uh, the seahorses. Yeah, we, we gave them to the one girl who used to work here, just trying to raise them up because they're very sensitive to babies. They usually get sucked up in filters. These are pretty big ones here. Got crabs. This little guy here. What's it called? This is a geophagus heckli. And they get the little wispy fins on top. You can imagine that fish, you know, bigger, like eight inches. Gorgeous. All the colors are even. Even this little dopey one, they get pretty too. These are like your South American peacocks. Is what those are. Right. Same diet. Don't have the organ to sense vibrations like peacocks, but same premise. Well, there's an absolute. So over here, you've got a lot of live plants, a lot of cichlids. Yeah, a lot. Of, yeah, people just bring this old convict. Convicts breed like mad. Right. So. <laughs> right. We just get them on, on, on the low for free. Yeah, I know people love their frontosas. Yeah. I couldn't, I could, honestly, I couldn't tell you what variety they are. There's probably like five different kinds. But yeah. We got discus. Yeah, you guys always have a lot of discus in stock here. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, I still got people calling up at least once a week, but hey, you know, I'm seeing Dustin or something wanting to come out here and just check us out for this one. Uh, you always have a lot of nice ones in here. Let's go over here and look at some more discus. We got the, uh, the tiger shovel nose, lima shovel nose. Yeah, we swam with these guys at uh, Fish Fish. See, they're about four feet long almost, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I said, he'll probably be there in 10 years. Yeah. Wow, look at all these beautiful oh, discus. Yeah, all the colors yeah. coming out. This one's actually really neat. He gets a lot of attention because the extra stripes he has. You wouldn't think because of color, but people that are into it, jump, it jumps out to them. Yeah. Very cool. Look at this guy. Wow. Yeah, Very think, friendly, right up to the front of the glass. Off. This is like our South American tank. We gotta make sure no one's beating each other up too bad. We gotta check on them every day. Wow, look at that guy. Every time you move someone out of here, all the dynamics change so yeah. between the personalities and how they react to one another. Lots of garamis. Yeah, people can bring their dogs in here. Big old puppy dogs. Yeah, I always see dogs in here. More yeah, uh, we just fish in. Got to put some more away. That's just feeder guppies right feeder there. Feeder guppies. But gotta put them at away. least once a week, you get a whole bunch. You guys get uh, fish once a week, at least? Uh, yeah, like uh, tropical fish, and then we'll get a shipment of like feeder fish and pond fish. Wow. Yeah, we got some That's a nice tank. You got a little ray in here. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot about that. We got some tall ray. These are from like northern South America. They get about uh, a foot and a half long. Very at cool. least the disc does. They get about a three foot wide. Circumference on the disc. Wow. So they need a big tank. And they, uh, they actually vary in color depending on what part of the river they catch them in. Oh. And there's other fish like that too. Like there's, uh, you ever seen the phantom plecos? Yeah. The phantom plecos, depending where they get them, if they get them in the north, they're blue, you know, green, and then in the south, they're yellow. Hmm. It's sort of the same thing with these. And then some massive crayfish right here. Oh yeah, we got some. You could probably, right here. <laughs> yeah, you can probably consider those lobsters at this point. Yeah, it's getting close. Wow, look at these. And they, they fight. See, they fight over, and then they, they eat their front. These have huge claws. Oh yeah, they were doing it earlier. So no, people buy these as pets or as feeders? Uh, well, you feed uh, puffer fish a lot of times with these. You can also like when they shed their skin, they come out like butter soft right after they shed. And in that case, you could feed them to like larger stingrays. Oh. And pretty much anything that has teeth to crunch them up. And they, we we used to be able to sell alligators, but they they've been cracking down on a lot of laws. Yeah. And we sell a lot of those for guys. Yeah, Ohio fish. Here's a big frontosa here. Yeah, a couple of big ones. Really nice one. There's another guy. Really nice. Wow, he's cool. And we got the uh, large and down here. No. These can be kind of hard to find sometimes. You know, a lot of times people won't get enough of them, and then they start beating each other up, and then it's hard to find a big one to match with the ones they already have. So that's why I mentioned that. Yeah, I mean, it's unbelievable when you look at this fish room. You think, hey, it's not that big, and there is just a ton of fish in this area. Oh yeah, we're catching fish out of here. You guys know a lot of customers. You can keep these in your ponds if anyone's interested. These will live year-round in a pond with three foot long. Yeah, there's albino oscars. Yeah, those are cool. The albino, so you work uh, like in a in a four to six hour shift here. You're working this fish room. How many fish are you bagging in a four to six hour shift in a little place like this? Uh, sometimes it gets going. Um, I mean, you get if, if you're good at catching them, you get people on a roll, and they <laughs> like they'll be like, "Oh, got it," and they're like, "Oh, you already got that," uh, and they know you're busy, so it's like, "Oh, that one." And <laughs> so they add more. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I feel so you might throw 50 or 100 fish in, it yeah. in a bag in a shift? Yeah. Wow, that's a busy yeah, some place, days man. Some real slow, but yeah, some days it gets, it gets popping. Check this out, there. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got here? Gold dust mollies. Gold dust mollies. Those Four are cool. Four. They have quarry caps. These kind of things are super neat because they have like a kind of a liar tail. And they're live breeders, so you could buy some and have babies. Oh, you got blue crayfish in here, too. Yeah, look at that. Super cool. And these guys, they're actually living together. They're getting along? Yeah. This is called an apricot crayfish. Yeah. Very different. Different variety. You see how like the the abdomen's real thin on him. I think it's funny how the, the blue one is <laughs> He's cruising. He's going around. 
Yeah, definitely shaped a little different than your average crayfish. It has a longer body. Yeah. And he can fly. There's a blue crayfish. What a neat guy. I used to have some of these and I mated them and there was just babies. It was a really cool thing. Yeah, We're going to check like out outside. So they also have a lot of pond stuff. Out back here. We got the big fish. So they've got poi and all kind of cool stuff out back here. Big Here's the big boys. Yeah, there's tadpoles in there. We got snails, buck 99, yeah. snails. Beautiful koi back here. Mm -hmm. Wow. You guys what, like 80 bucks a piece? 80 bucks, bucks, 80, 90 bucks for those. Here's some smaller ones. 14.99. You guys got this all laid out back here, man. Mm -hmm. Tons of koi. What kind are these? I uh, really awesome. Just put them. Yeah. <laughs> we got some down there. They got special names like Sanke. Three for sixty. Kaisho. Uh, butterfly uh, koi. Three for thirty. Medium butterfly. Nice. Three for thirty. Yeah, these are. actually butterflies in here. Oh, Very cool. Snail. Lots of snails. Yeah, that one bit the dust. You guys got all these tubs out here. Super neat, man. Look at this big, some, uh, big Hughes red eared here. slider. Look at this guy. I'm guessing this is a young lady <laughs> being as big as she is. Yeah, she's a good eater, too. Not that? She's like, I want that fish. <laughs> what eat. happened to the other one? Let's see if she Did we it. sell the other one? Oh, she's sitting on the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if she, she, she eats gets it. going. She's like, I'll take it. She had a, we had a poisonous fish thing, one of the clownfish yesterday. I fed it to her. So oh, she nice. gets all the exotic stuff. <laughs> <laughs> She's thinking about it. Go we'll see. It. Her friends under it. That's a big slider, man. Oh, there she goes. She's like, thank you, bye-bye. Yeah, and then there's the uh, side neck right below her. Parked in there nice and neat. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? They all sleeping, dude. <laughs> <laughs> she covered, she covered. Yeah, I was eating that guy. Got yeah, more pond stuff out here. That's another Yeah, some painted turtles. Those are cool. Yeah, Look at all these tanks and stuff. I mean, you guys just have unbelievable. Oh, yeah, that's all the extras. Unbelievable amount of stuff. That's all the tanks in limbo. Tree frogs. Some tree know. frogs and stuff yeah, we, out here. We try to get, I mean, if you can get your turtles outside, I recommend that. Oh, yeah. Everybody. They, the sunlight, there's no feet in sunlight. All kind of pond oh, plants you can buy. I said three for ten. Yeah, and you might get lucky if you get some of this hornwort from us, because the guy that brings us the hornwort breeds cherry shrimp in them, and every now and then we get cherry shrimp in them. <laughs> so we get a lot of stuff from local people. Yeah, a lot of angelfish. Three for uh, ten. Some live bears and a lot of plants. Look at all these little ponds. I mean, it's just amazing. Like I said, when you pull up front here, this place has been here 32 years. Greg said. There's I mean, don't know about it, so. you just think, you know, hey, it's kind of like this smaller place, but it's just unbelievable how much you guys have. These are all bullfrog tadpoles. Bullfrog tadpoles. Yeah, I guess some little snails. The little snails. I think when uh, your turtles get bigger and they end up going to the big tank, I think we're going to do like an aqua cave with tadpoles. I think that'd be really neat yeah. to do. And snails, because we love snails, but we always have loaches, so we can't have them. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Yeah, I mean, what a great thing. You guys just have this big, like, outside addition where you've got all this other stuff. I mean, it's unbelievable. It really is. I like that big turtle. 32 years, man. Yeah. That's a great, 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 awesome, dedicated business. You know, they're, they're going to be here. Let's take a look at some of these betas real quick that you wanted to show me. Oh yeah, I'm mean, like, gonna see if we get the light to bounce off it right. These guys. And when the light hits that in the right angle, you really see all the color come out. Yeah, I mean, and the thing is, is all these guys look good. I mean, when you go to some of these chain pet stores, you look at the betas, and it looks like, wow, has anybody ever changed that water? I mean, this water's crystal clear. Yeah, we've had some bad shipments before, but who has? Yeah, wow. I still guy. think that we get the best deal. 
Well, you guys always have very good deals. And and uh, it's nice because you give discounts if you buy in quantity and stuff like that, too. So that's really cool. It's nice that the owner is here a lot. So you can negotiate and talk about deals. And, um, you know, when you're in a big place like a chain store, I mean, you can't do that. You know? what you get. They're like, no, we can't do that. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the color in this one. It's like a per pearlescent one almost. It's really cool. And we have some really nice ones over here. We actually have two sections of these. Yeah, yeah, let's check out over here. Check out over here. We got some, some other ones over here. Man, I saw some really nice ones over here. Let me get in here. Wow, look at this guy. Oh, that's the one I was picking up. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at the white. I almost feel like getting him for Jack's tank. Wow. I might have to do that. Man, there's some cool ones here. Yeah, like I said, these ones have not been picked through as much. Most people don't know they're over here. They're kind of hidden in the back section here. I really like that guy. I mean, he almost looks like a koi with those facial markings. Look at this one. I mean, you go on eBay and look at these ever. Like, people sell these things for like 20, 30, 40 Yeah, bucks. and they're just all $3.99 here at Best in Pets. Really an unbelievable selection. Beautiful, guys. Look at this one. Blue and tan and white. Wow. And, oh, look at this guy showing off all his stuff. He's like, bring it. Wow, look at that guy. Holy cow. Gorgeous. Well, thanks so much, man, for all your uh, help. Awesome seeing you. Okay. Uh, we'll definitely be back and uh, we'll post this here in a couple weeks and uh, just letting people know about Best in Pets in uh, Larry, Ohio. One of the best places ever. Right, buddy? Spread the word. We'll see you next time.